Traditionally, students come to university and they attend lectures. And in the lectures they hear about all the basic information. So a flipped classroom is when you turn that around and before students come to class, they read about the basic knowledge and the elementary concepts that they'll need to acquire. And then in class, they're presented with tasks and exercises and challenges that mean they have to put that knowledge into play. It's a form of active learning, which the research tells us is a way of making learning richer and deeper and more long-lasting. Students are able to work with the knowledge that they have previously gained and that enables them to extend themselves. The school's strategy and their aim for the whole school is that we're offering flip types of learning to all our students, not in every course but in some courses. Compared to ordinary lecturing there are a number of advantages both for the student and for the lecturer. For students the outcomes tend to be uh, more engaging classes, better quality of learning, dare I say more fun and certainly the classrooms are more high energy, less passive and the lecturers get that energy back as well. So it is actually a win-win for everyone. Active flipped classroom methodologies mean that before class you prepare and you prepare by reading, watching videos, undertaking quizzes, doing small exercises, doing some exploratory research. And then when you come to class you apply that learning and you often apply that learning by working in groups on problem-based tasks. Each week we're given about 10 activities, step by step, what we have to do to prepare for the class and that includes little videos that they've recorded which are really good for the learning so we get the basic concept before we go through the readings. And then we also get activity based things to go with the readings. There's always an introduction in the, the step one and after the introduction I start like learning things from the readings and, and I do exercise, I do the crits to check if I actually get um, the, the knowledge outcome and that's really helpful. Basically when we are in the classroom uh, the lecturer first gives us a welcome and then they basically give us what the, t what the lecture is going to be about. So they give us the learning outcomes of this lecture. Um, they also give us a mini lecture uh, which is basically just going through all the topics that we did individually, but now it's the lecturer who's explaining it to us. After that is done, we are basically given some activities to do as a group. There can be two to three activities sometimes. Sometimes there are just questions that need to be asked. Because we have to solve like problems in class with the knowledge we've got from our preparations, we really do have to think about it a bit more and talk with each other. We do get the same base knowledge, but we all interpret it differently. So we've got to all combine that and to solve our problems. Students enjoy working as teams, as groups. They get a lot more out of it than they necessarily would do if they were working just as individuals. They typically report that they get a diversity of opinion in their teams and their groups that they would never otherwise be exposed to. Everyone thinks differently, so it's, it gives us a good variation of what their perspective is on a particular question. Because we've all got different understandings and like I'll struggle with some things and some will struggle with other things, we can help each other. Sometimes we, we will argue with each other, but it's fine. It's for our common goal. And that's why I love it. It's my favourite bit. It's a really fun, inspiring, when it's happening, when you see those teams debating, either within the team or between teams, you see the learning occurring, it's a really wonderful thing. We also have to do like a test, um, just like a revision test, you can say. And after that, it's just a recap of what we learned and uh, what we are supposed to do for the next week as well. The lecturers, they're just really approachable. Just stick your hand up and they'll come over and help you with the problem you're having. It's a bit more friendly rather than addressing everyone as a big hole, giving you the blunt information and being sent off to do it by yourself. As a international student, you might be scared of talking, but um, once you talk and once you 
actually giving ideas to the team. It helps you to understand and it also helps with your language. As a dyslexic student, this class really helped me because it's a lot more hands-on, interactive and video-based learning as well. So I read quite a lot slower than other students and sometimes words take a little bit longer to process for me. But with like videos and the interaction in class, I find my learning a lot, lot easier. In a business sense, if we are to go into the future in employment, um, working in a team is going to be the basis of what we're doing. And so learning through teamwork is really, really beneficial in this way. In the business world, it's become really clear through you know, discussing this with practitioners that practitioners want people who ideally have two things. They know the content, they know the material, but they also have good soft skills. So they can work to a deadline, they can work in a team, they can work under pressure, and they can you know, negotiate and reach a settlement on certain things. So it's a great tool to get students work ready when they finish uh, their education here at the University of Auckland.